I mean, that was one of the most unbelievable things in reading this book is this whole notion that you're not necessarily a victim of the genes that you've got, that you can control. On one hand, I was completely bummed out because I thought, oh my God, I can't blame my grandparents anymore for my varicose veins. <laughs> but on the second hand, I thought, well, this now means that I have control over how I age, which is, seems like well, we, what you were saying in the book. Well, you control 70% of how you age by the time you're age 50, 70%. So the genes are a role, but they're not great. And it turns out that when we learn more and more about where the fountain of youth is, because by the way, it's in you, right? The secret is in you. The secret really is all about how our genes are turned on and off, but it's also about how our cells respond to the world outside of us. Aging is not about avoiding breakage. My skull, Mike's skull, if they were unbreakable, they'd have to weigh five times more than they weigh now. We'd be walking around like this. Well, my ancestors <laughs> would have died walking off a cliff because you can't look up, your head would be too heavy. We're designed to be able to break and repair ourselves. And that reparative process begins to falter as we have difficulty dealing with the stressors outside our body. Take the biggest of all, which is just the environmental stress. The financial stress, which we know drives many of us to feel physically ill, but also the stress of the workplace and, and the modern world. You have inside of you something called the chromosome, right? There are 26 of them. And those chromosomes... You want my shoes for this? Yeah, that, thank you. Mike's shoes are perfect. Your chromosomes are like the shoelace. And you see Mike's shoelace caps, they're intact. See those little... Yeah. Very rare, right. but this one is. So they're, they're, they're <laughs> actually called aglets, these shoelace caps, when they're intact like That's that. That's a test question. Now, <laughs> when the cap breaks down, it's the, this, the, the analogy is when your chromosome tips break down, and they're called telomeres. You should remember that word. So your chromosome tips are like the shoelace. If the cap's intact, you can use it as a shoelace, but more importantly in your body, the cells can reproduce themselves because their chromosomes can reproduce. Now, this other shoelace of Mike's is frayed a bit at the tip. Your telomeres, if they fray, the, sh the chromosome can no longer reproduce. Now, why is that important? Your organs continually replenish themselves with stem cells from your bone marrow. And if those stem cells are unable to reproduce themselves normally because the telomeres are cut off or cleaved and the chromosomes are frayed, then you no longer can replenish your organs. All of your organs do this. We didn't know this till recently. All of your organs continually rejuvenate themselves if your telomeres and, are and long the way, enough. And the way we knew that actually was in something you did, which is heart transplants. When we would biopsy the hearts of women who had gotten male hearts, right, we would find Male so the, chromosomes. So the, so the women should have only X, Y chromosomes in their heart because it's a male heart. We would find the opposite. And more strikingly, men who got female hearts would start to express X, Y chromosomes in the heart. How's that possible? It came from a female. Shouldn't have any Y chromosomes. It happens because their bone marrow starts to replenish and rejuvenate the heart. We give this to you as an example of how much power you really have. Give me so example of the of, Vegas. So one of the things you want to do is keep those telomeres long. Because when you get those telomeres that are long, they can keep your stem How do you cells. Do How do you keep them long? Well, the greatest ager of all you've heard already is stress. And stress shortens them. So how do you do it? You learn deep breathing and meditation, not for some mumbo jumbo reason, but because deep breathing and meditation actually lengthens those telomeres and lets you repair your organs for a longer time. Now, how does it do it? It works through a nerve called the vagus. Now, all of you know what's, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Well, this is actually the reverse. Your vagus nerve goes all throughout your body. It's the longest nerve from your brain that's directly from your brain. And we used to know that it sent messages out to calm your body. But we didn't know till recently that 75% of the vagus is in charge with bringing messages back to your brain. And as you deep breathe or meditate, it has an effect of calming your brain. And that's one of the great things. So remember, what happens in the vagus spreads to the rest of the brain and spreads to your body to calm it.